Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Geraldine Fowler. I am the president for the Institute of Retirement Funds Africa. In opening this information session on the IRFA's revamped and rebranded Owela Ukwenza Kahle Awards Program, I am reminded that excellence is a journey and being recognized for this is one small aspect of what this means for those who embark on it. Before we start the session, I would like to introduce our presenters for today. We have got Cheryl Ward, IRFA board member, and also our awards champion, Stephanie Griffiths from Cohesion, who is our external moderator, Kuliso Rachili, who is our IRFA communications officer, and also the awards coordinator, Sizakile Kumalu from the IRFA, who is our membership officer, Puti Padu, IRFA stakeholder engagement officer. Lastly, we would have had Wayne Hiller van Rensburg, the IRFA executive officer, who unfortunately is tied up with the industry conference and will not be able to join us for this session. IRFA continuously challenges itself to ensure that our annual awards program reflects this journey of excellence. We do need to strive to develop a program that meets the needs of all who enter and all other supporters. Our awards program must acknowledge achievement and innovation across the spectrum in continuously changing times. When recognition is given, we want the award recipient to be confident that the direct stakeholders and peers place significant value on it. This year, we have reached a turning point. While retaining the essential focus areas of our 35-year-old program, we have reduced the number of awards and structured the program in such a way that the entrants scoring the highest will receive recognition for achieving excellence in these focus areas, which collectively result in optimum outcomes for the fund and its members. For us, this is reflected in the new name of the program when translated from Isizulu into English translates as Strive to Do Good Awards. We at IRFA believe that retirement funds are uniquely positioned to benefit not just their members, but society at large. Thank you for joining hands with us in striving to do good by entering our awards program and showcasing your excellence for the benefit of the sector and the body of knowledge. I will now hand over to our program champion, IRFA board member Cheryl Ward, to explain the mechanics of entering and what we need from you in order for the judges to do justice to your entry. Thank you very much, Cheryl. I'll now hand over to you. Thank you. So we're gonna have a look at the mechanics of the program. And to enter this year's program will require funds to provide a wide range of information on their practices and a clear declaration that the entrant has complied with all the regulatory requirements and that there aren't any known matters that could bring harm to members. So on this award structure slide, there's uh, three sections that entrants will be required to work through. One is a declaration confirming that you've complied with all the regulatory requirements. Then we will uh, look at the focus areas, which will be familiar to those of you that have entered before. And then there's a new section on innovation, which we're very excited about and which uh, Steph will talk about later. So if we have a look at the focus areas, they are the original categories that we used to work with. But if you have a closer look, there's 
a slight change in some of the namings of these focus areas. For instance, uh, trustee development is now trustee and principal officer competence and development. And another interesting one, governance is now governance and compliance. So the six focus areas remain and you will see those coming through in the work plans. So if we go to the website, where a lot of the information on the awards program is, is held. I'll be just waiting for it to go through. Here is the awards program page, recognizing excellence and the entry form comes in the form of an introduction. And if we just scroll down a bit further, there you go. If we look at the recognition that these awards will bring, um, I'll read there halfway down the page. The entrance will be recognized as follows. We're going to have a single gold award for the entrant who scores the highest in, in all the categories. And this is irrespective of the fund size or the classification. Then there will be a silver award for the runner up. We will have multiple bronze awards to recognize entrants who have achieved 75% or more uh, in, a, in a distinct area. And that again is irrespective of the fund size or the classification. The innovation recognition certificates, uh, we will have five of those to recognize um, funds who deserve recognition for an innovative idea or a practice. And the presentation of these awards, the gold and the silver award will be recognized at the RFA conference on the 5th of September, 2022. The bronze award winners and the innovation award winners will have their names displayed at our conference exhibition stand. And they will also receive certificates, which we can send to by email. Uh, this year, the entry cost is 8,000 Rand per entry, but there is a 20% discount for early birds um, for those entries that we receive before the 15th of June, 2022. So I would encourage uh, funds that have started their entry and to get it going and, and get it submitted by this time to save some money. We can go on to another part of the web. And here, here is where the uh, entrance entry form starts. Uh, you'll recall in that first slide, we spoke about the declaration. And I'll just go through this section um, quite quickly because it is um, self-explanatory. But this is a declaration, and you'll see the first one, I duly, de duly declare on behalf of the fund that the following information is accurate. So you would click on yes under that section there. You'd put in your fund name, and we've just put in some fictitious things here, and the PF re registration number. Now, the title you should, as in previous years, you give your submission a name to describe the flavor of what you're going to be presenting to us. And then the next questions are these declaration questions, which um, have a place to say yes or no. And if you've said no, you have a, a chance to comment on the reason why, um, for instance, does the fund or has the funds principal officer been approved by the FSCA? Yes or no, if there's a reason for no, that you would, you'd have a chance to say so there. So there's probably five or six questions to get through this first section. They're, very, they're important questions. And that's the way you get started on your entry. That's just uh, in, invoicing details. And you can see we're using uh, Google Forms um, for this and, and it's a very easy way of submitting. 
there's your antique categories, which we've already gone through. Okay, so then we come to the section where we said focus areas. It's section A. It's your work plan and your uh, evidence, proof of evidence that you're going to attach for us. So I'm going to go through the first one, focus area of stakeholder engagement, so that you get a feel for the format that we're using. Um, and then followed on from this will be the other categories that we've spoken about. So 1A, does the fund have a current communication policy in place? You'd say yes, hopefully. Is the communication policy and strategy compliant with circular PF 130? Yes or no? Does the fund use communication me messages and methods accessible to all stakeholders? Is the evidence that stakeholders are classified demographically? Does the fund utilize different methods of communication in a cost-effective manner? And does the fund measure the impact of its communication on stakeholder communication and behavior? Now you'll see the next sections there allow you to put in two appropriate samples um, and upload them under the little blocks saying add file where the curse is sitting at the, at the moment. And here we are looking for you to show us your best work in this focus area that we've just gone through. And that would complete your section on focus area one. And as you work through the document, you'll see that um, the others follow. For instance, the second one being financial management and reporting. And you will, at the end of the session, we will be giving you contact details. So if there are any questions you need to ask on the entry, we're all willing and happy to help, especially for those people who haven't entered before. Right, so we can go on to the next section. Focus area five and transformation. That's the last one there. So in terms of the six focus areas, you will be required to provide a work plan, which is those questions that you're answering, as well as supplying a work sample or evidence in support of your of this work plan. I thank you for your time and best wishes as you prepare your award winning entry. I'll now hand over to Stephanie Griffiths, our external awards moderator, and she's going to explain the innovation awards and the judging process and give you some tips on what will be seen as the excellence factor that the judges are going to be looking at. Thank you very much for your time. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Stephanie Griffiths, and I have been privileged to serve as both a judge and external moderator on IRFA's award program for many years. I'm also privileged to serve as a judge on several local and international professional awards programs, and myself have been recipient of several awards for research over the years. In terms of my involvement with the IRFA awards, I have always been impressed with the standard of entries and the innovation shown by many funds in meeting the needs of their members, pensioners and the sector at large. This is why this year's program really excites me, as it highlights and acknowledges this innovation in the form of a specific award in each of the six focus areas over and above the main trophies. Remember, however, that to be eligible for this award, you need to have entered for the gold, silver and bronze awards, i.e. completed all the questions in all six focus areas. There will be a separate questionnaire for the innovation awards, as you need to complete a work plan for this category. You will also need to specify which focus areas you're entering for the innovation award and will need to articulate your goals and objectives tell us the process you followed in determining the need for the program how you planned and implemented the solution and also most critically how you measured the impact of your efforts which brings me to the concept of excellence and innovation both of which apply to all phases of the Luella Uquenza Bachelor program your entry will be judged by two judges and moderated should there be a large discrepancy between the judges' scores, ensuring rigor and lack of subjectivity. 
what will our judges be looking for in an award-winning entry? Well, we'll be looking for more than just the bar factor, as critical as this factor is. We will be looking for an understanding of your stakeholders and their needs. We will be looking for due process. We will be looking for the impact the solution made and learnings for the industry at large. So, best of luck as you prepare to showcase your innovation and contribution. And as always, I'm available to provide any further guidance you may require as you complete your entries. I will now hand over to the hardworking IRFA team who will facilitate the entry process for all of you. Good day, Sanbonani Abusheni A. My name is Kuliso Rachili and I'm the communications officer and the awards coordinator. We have decided to simplify the awards program to make it easier for entrants to complete without needing extra resources or taking up your time. This year's entry can be completed in just two days or less. Please feel free to contact our office if you require any further information and we will gladly assist. Remember, Ugushala Uenzagashe in your funds and we can't wait to receive your entries. I will now hand over to my colleagues, Sizagele and Puti. Thank you and good luck. Good afternoon and welcome to IRFA Luela Uenzagashe Award Session. My name is Sizagele Kumalo, well known as Siza, a membership officer of the IRFA. I would like to encourage all the funds, big or small, to enter the awards program. This is an opportunity not to be missed. Deadline for submitting entries is 13 July 2022, and for the early bed, it's 15th of June. So we're looking forward to receiving your entries. As my colleague said earlier, that you, should you experience any challenges or have any questions, please send us an email on the email address which will be provided at the end of the session. Wishing you all the best. Thank you, bye. Good day, everyone. My name is Puti Padu. I am the IRFA Stakeholder Engagement Officer, and I've been with the Institute for over a period of four years. Would like to encourage everyone in the industry to grab this opportunity and enter the awards. This is the right time and the right moment. These awards can boost your organization's reputation, setting you apart from the crowd. They can also give you a moral boost by highlighting your achievements. Awards are a great way of gaining recognition and respect among your peers. They can help you develop deeper relationships with customers, investors, suppliers, partners, and the media. We are looking forward to receiving your entries for the Luela Ukwenzagase Awards and wishing all the funds entering the very best of luck. I thank you. I will now hand over to the president to do the closing. I am in the closing of the session representing Wayne, as I said earlier on, he's unfortunately not available for the session and I will do the closing for him. I thank you for your interest, participation in the program and your support. One of our primary goals in developing our awards process has always been to surface practices which rank amongst the best in the sector, and to share these for learning, development, and the greater good. We have not lost sight of this in the re-engineering and rebranding of our process. IRFA is proud of the contribution we make to the body of knowledge, and our awards program is a large part of this, thanks to your willingness to share your excellence. Please remember when deciding whether or not to enter this year's program, that it is the program, process and strategy our judges evaluate, not the size of the operational budget. There will be no distinction between classes and types of funds. Do not hesitate to contact us uh, if you need further information or assistance and we look forward to receiving your award-winning entry. Thank you very much for joining us.